this is this is the third happening, which was uh, a very interesting one. Uh, this ugly building, it is the communist headquarters, they always put themselves in this very functionalistic uh, ugly buildings. Um, and they, during the revolution, they had a meeting, they still were in power, because one of the big things, you know, this is when uh, the strike got political. Uh, at first, when we started striking, we wanted to uh, find who was responsible for the beating at the, uh, in Prague. We wanted these people to uh, be punished for that. But as the things began to unravel, uh, we found ourselves in a center of not only uh, striking for the more freedom, but also uh, striking for political issues. And one of the biggest issues was the removal of the leading role of the Communist Party from the Constitution of the Czechoslovakia, because that was a part of the Constitution, and like you have the American Constitution, I think it was the article number one. The Czechoslovakia is led by the Communist Party forever, or something like that. And we were thinking, you know, this is not right. I mean, if there is democracy, you cannot have one party being the leading party forever and ever. So we started demanding that this uh, of, of cancellation of this of this article, and that was very painful thing. So I mean, they still were in power; they had their meetings, and we decided to somehow symbolize how cut off they are, the communist authorities, from the people. So while they were having this meeting, uh, we asked all the inhabitants in Olomouc to uh, to bring uh, cardboard box cardboard boxes. And we built a wall around the whole building so that they cannot get out of it. They, they were allowed to get in, but the moment they got in, we walled them, uh, walled them in. And then there was just like a little small passage when they wanted to leave. They would have to go through that little path. We didn't do anything to them. We just stood there and stared at them. <laughs> and they would have to go one after another. That was humiliating, I know, but you know. They were the comments. That, that, was, that was the worst we did, ever, ever did to them. Um, I remember that uh, we had loudspeakers at that time. What was on the boxes? What did you write on the boxes? Uh, on the boxes, when we have some close up, uh, I know it's in Czech, so it doesn't help much, but uh, there were like, you see, you see, there were suns, flowers, uh, for whom the bell tolls, too. I mean, there is the one with a question mark. Um, Jokes. Uh, well, yeah, there were jokes, uh, little jokes, uh, little slogans, little poems, uh, freedom, you know, and so on, so on. So they were not confrontational so much. Uh, and uh, all this time, uh, I think that we had uh, the music by Pink Floyd, uh, The Wall, from the album. We, we don't need no education, and so on, and so on. Uh, we don't need no education, and so on. So that, that was like a happening which uh, was a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I think that the inhabitants of Olomos uh, really appreciated what the students did. That, that, that was another thing I was proud of, uh, of uh, the students, and that uh, hasn't happened again with our students. That even though we were striking and that it was a tough time and tense time, we had fun. And we managed to uh, and bring that joy and cheerfulness also to the streets of Olomos, and people in Olomos still remember those times. And I was reading the reports uh, yesterday and today, because we had celebration yesterday, and we had something uh, to commemorate the 20 years, and one of my friends wrote an email. You know, there was some kind of a gathering at the main square, but that was not the happening of 20 years ago. I mean, we had fun then. And I could see the photographs from that, so, so pictures from that yesterday's gathering. Yeah, the people were not having fun. They were just standing there looking, you know, waiting for someone to do something. In um, truth, in truth, though, though, I had every one of those jokes explained to me, and I never got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Giving those from the boxes? Yeah, it's up there. I'm looking, you know, this I'm is a flower. Them. Flower is like a nice, tender, gentle thing. They'd explain so, it to me, then they'd explain it to me again. There was a big difference between American humor and Czech humor, right? Oh, there is. Yes, yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your part. Um, one of my another one of my memories is the one of the, the remember the slide we had of the huge square and the huge assembly on the square. Well, we have that picture above our dining room table at home, and we have it enlarged because you, sitting next to the town uh, town hall, you can see my daughter was wearing a white snowsuit, and she's on top of my shoulders, and we've got it there, and it's interesting because she's now living in Brno, Czech Republic and um, engaged to be married to a Czech, and I starting to... Czech humor, finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
it teaches teaches English as a second language, which I never was able to get a handle on when I was over there, which I was supposed to do. Um, we, I have to tell you that the first time I met Libor, I'd heard about him, was he showed up for about the sixth week into my, my class. All of a sudden, Libor, who I've always heard about, comes to my class. And I'm just desperate. I'm a literature teacher. I'm teaching these classes I don't know anything about, how to teach English as a second language. So I get the idea to bring the Wizard of Oz toys into the class and have the students create a story around these, my daughter's Wizard of Oz toys. Well, this is a great idea until he walks in. And he goes, what is this crap? I'm not here for this. So he just keeps on going like this, destroys the whole class, right? Yeah. Yeah. You go to university and learning English for 10 years, and there you have this American Fulbright professor hoping that, you know, you will get some serious discussion. Yeah. And he's got Toto. <laughs> Hello, Toto. What's your name? Now you must, you must understand, Slade, how nice a person I am because I chose him to come to Mount Mercy <laughs> after his barbarous behavior. <laughs> but otherwise, um, this, sli this slide is um, of a train trip that was about the last thing that I did concerning the strike. And the students were going to go into um, Prague and lobby for Havel to be elected president. And it was about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. And it was just, I, I'm not a morning person. This just seemed an awful time to get up. It was cold. I got on this train, and I sat down. And the first thing, the guy opposite me opens up this can of canned meat with a smell that I've never been able to deal with. And I'm, it's early. I haven't really eaten. And I've got to smell this thing. He spreads it on me. And what have I got myself into? But what happened was, Oh, okay. Yeah, see. Um, you know, I'd heard Hey Jude, the Beatles Hey Jude, about 5,000 times. I was so sick of that song by 1989, like most songs of the Beatles. And on this trip in, they start singing Hey Jude, and they're pounding the floor for the beat with a broom handle. Somebody's tapping against the side of the train for the rhythm. This other guy's got a guitar, and these people are singing this to version of Hey Jude, which was in some ways the most beautiful song I'd ever heard. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, okay, smelly meat, this guy, and he keeps on meeting. He kept on bringing on one thing after another. And it's early in the morning, it's really cold, but there is really something, this is a spontaneous thing, a special thing. Um, I can't understand a word anybody's saying, and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, oh, this is worth it. And then I went in, and there was this, the marches to Prague to lobby for Havel. And I think that's the final thing I remember about the strike. We went to Greece for January for the whole month, my family. When I got back, it was the transitional period, uh, one of the most interesting times from February through August when I left but the strike was over. It had moved on to a different dimension.